Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, this is going to be a general collective message Ooh. for Cancer, the cross watcher, or anybody else that was drawn here. Please take the messages only if they apply to you. If this does not sound like your situation, go ahead and try a different message and see if that one does. We're going to jump right on in today. We're going to start with the Gilded Tarot. And then we're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot to see what's going on. So please and thank you, Spirit. Can I get some messages for Cancer? We have the Eight of Cups, but it came out sideways. I feel like you guys are having a hard time walking away from something or someone. You see that full moon? It speaks about a time of release. The Eight of Cups speaks about walking away. But the fact that it came out sideways tells me that you haven't walked away yet. Maybe somebody's trying to stop you from walking away. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. For some of you guys, it could be a parent or somebody that feels like they're parenting you. Hmm. It could also be that it's just really hard to walk away from something or someone. Let's see. For cancer, please and thank you. <clears throat> The Three of Wands. Yeah, your ships are coming in, though. You're going to have to walk away from this land in order to get on that boat. Or you're going to have to walk away from something so that you don't miss your boat, your opportunity. I feel like whatever it is you need to release, there could be a time limit here. I feel like the Divine's trying to say, listen, we've got something that we're trying to bring in. But if you don't go to the dock, it might be gone by the time you do get there. Or you're never going to get there unless you travel there. Because there could be travel indicated with this Three of Wands. Yeah, for, yeah, it's like a mother or your partner. Could even be a child. Let's see. Can I get one more, please, for Cancer? What's that? The Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you just need to communicate to whoever this is that, listen, I got to go. I, I got to get off the phone. I'm going to be late. I got to get to this today, whether it's an appointment or receiving a phone call and, and turning your back. Some of you guys are not answering the phone it's a, a, it feels like an important phone call or important information that's trying to get to you or that you would receive if you could get to this opportunity. It's interesting. I feel like for some of you guys, it's hard to walk away. Let's just use an example. Say this is in work and career. You're not walking away from your job. Maybe you've worked there for a really long time and... It feels like you're throwing that all away or you got really comfortable there and now it's hard to walk away. Or maybe you just really like the crew that you work with. You really like the hours, but I feel like the divine is trying to bring something in that's even better. But if you're not open to receiving the information or this new beginning, you're not going to receive it. You're not going to move forward in life. Essentially, you would be stuck. Some of you guys don't even realize it, or some of you aren't really focused on it at that at this time, and that might be why this is coming out in your reading. Others of you know what's going on. It's just really, really hard to walk away because you have established something here. That Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck tells me that you are perfect for this new opportunity, whatever this new opportunity is. This could be the employer that's looking at your credentials and they're saying, oh my gosh, you are exactly who we have been looking for. And this is a job that's got more hours, better pay, closer to home. It feels really good, guys. It feels really, really good. The only problem is either you're just not open to it so you don't realize that this is going on or trying to come in. Or again, it's just really hard to walk away from what it is that you've already established. Interesting. Let's get into the Light Seer's Tarot and see. 
Oh, wow. There it is. That Ace of Pentacles, the one that the Queen is holding. There is definitely information coming in, news coming in, opportunities coming in, phone calls coming in, interviews to be had, discussions to be had. Yeah, the Strength card. I do feel like this is a very strong opportunity, and they're viewing you as a strong candidate. The amount of potential is off the charts. Let's see. Spirit, what other messages do you have for cancer in regards to this message? Please and thank you. This could even be somebody that's trying to distract you. Hey, I got to get off the phone. I'm going to be late. I got to take this other call. I'll call you right back. The world card. Wrap that up. Whatever it is that you're having a hard time walking away from, wrap it up. The time to complete that cycle is now. I feel like you've already taken that as far as you can. Now, some of you guys have already wrapped up something with the past. You've already wrapped it up. You're already done. You're just... Um, you're still in the energy, but not in the sense of physically. It would be more like mentally. So you, okay. I don't know if you guys know Rich Loop. He's another reader here on YouTube. I haven't watched him in a while, but I loved the man. He's absolutely amazing. I still do love him, by the way. Uh, not in a weird way. Not in a weird way. <laughs> He's just really, really talented. He's great at what he does. Anyways, the, the situation he would use to describe, I just feel like it's so perfect here. You quit smoking cigarettes, but you're still thinking about them, right? It's like that. It feels like that. Maybe this is a new love offer that's coming in, something that could lead to marriage, someone that's essentially like the perfect partner for you, but you're, you're still not 100% over a past relationship or trust issues or you know what I mean something like that you don't have anything around you right now that's triggering that energy but it's still within you this is why the world card is coming out this is the divine saying whenever you're ready to wrap that up and move on with your life we are here for you or we have been here from you for you throughout this process they're helping you some of you guys might be a little bit in that fixed energy where you're like, oh, I don't know how. I don't know if I should. It feels like too much of a change. And the divine is like, we got your back. If this is a Saturn cycle, a lesson, you have learned the lesson. But you feel like you're still learning it. This right here is confirmation. You've learned it. You're done. Let it go. Walk away, my friend. Walk away. Yep, the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. Yes, there's new love or something new that has that loving energy. Something that you're going to love. Someone that's going to love you. The job that's just, oh my gosh, I love my job. You know what I mean? Something amazing is trying to come in on this boat. But you got to meet it halfway though. That's what I just heard. You got to meet it halfway. Yep, Two of Wands. Especially with that three of wands. You guys have been thinking about where you want to go or what it is you want to come towards you. You've been planning. You've been thinking about this. Look, there's the wheel of fortune. That's the karma cycle, the karmic cycle that you have wrapped up. Clarification, and I love it. And then we have the nine of wands. It was hard. It was hard. And some of you, it's still with you. It's still with you a little bit, some way, somehow. For some of you, you're still physically at that job or in that relationship or talking negatively to yourself, replaying the situation. There's a lot of different ways this can break down. Wow. And you got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of both decks. Listen, whatever this is that's trying to come in, it's perfect for you and you are perfect for it. Please, please. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Please, 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 you guys, please. You have come so far. You have worked too hard to let this opportunity just slip you by. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Let me go through the signs, though. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, or Capricorn. If I did not name the person's sign that you're dealing with, it could just be that they are in these energies at this time. Keep in mind, you can take on any sign at any time, okay? Guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you very soon. Until then, mwah, stay beautiful and namaste.